What's going on, everyone? It's your host, Spoo Benjamin. We back again with another episode. Today is crazy. We got people still up in New York dropping bodies and leaving the corpse in their apartments. And then we got shootouts happening over disputes, minor disputes. It's getting crazy around the world, boys and girls, but we're going to get to the bottom of this. Gone viral. Angry family and friends chasing after a man arrested after a woman's body was found stuffed in a sleeping bag on the streets of Manhattan. All right, Chad Irish has now been officially charged with concealment of a human corpse. Fox Rise Richard Jacobus live outside the 13th precinct in Gramercy Park. Hold up. Did y'all... This man is getting stoned like Jesus. What he do? Man charged after woman dead body found in a sleeping bag in his apartment. This is, you see, this is about New York's third time having these dinosaurs roaming around, dropping bodies and hiding the corpse in their apartments. Look at the way they beating this man, Jesus style. Look at this. They stoning him with a fist. 10 o'clock news last night has gone viral. Angry family and friends chasing after a man arrested after a woman's body was found stuffed in a Jesus. sleeping bag on the streets of Manhattan. All right, Chad Irish has now been officially charged with concealment of a human corpse. Fox Rise Richard Jacobus is live outside the 13th precinct in Gramercy Park with the latest this afternoon, Richard. Steve Natasha, Chad Irish has been here at that 13th precinct since last night. A 55-year-old man with nearly two dozen prior arrests that date back to the early 90s. He's now being questioned over the death of 31-year-old Yasmeen Williams. Williams' body was found stuffed in a sleeping bag and thrown on top of a pile of garbage last week in her Kipps Bay neighborhood. It's a gruesome crime that has sent shockwaves through her community and still has police trying to put this all together. Crime scene investigators spent most of Tuesday afternoon searching an apartment inside the Strauss houses in Kipps Bay, looking for any clues that would help them confirm who killed Yasmeen Williams. I think about it now, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there could be anybody. Like, I don't know what happened, why he did what, you know, he did to her. I, I don't know. It's, it's just sad. It is. It's sad. <laughs> Our Fox 5 cameras were rolling last night when Chad Irish was arrested. At Golly, the police can't even handle this mob. This mob is, this mob is giving him a beating like never before. We ain't never witnessed a beating like this. Y'all ever seen a man getting arrested by the police and all of these crowd just start beating his ass? Woo, even the do-rag and the barnets. Tearing, up, tearing his ass up. Mm -mm, that you already know that family right there. That family don't play. That family do not play. They say, "Hey, we gonna get our licks in before the police get you. We gonna get our licks in." Outside this NYCHA complex, after police transferred Irish from his wheelchair and onto a gurney, angry family members and friends of Yasmeen Williams became enraged. <laughs> They threw punches at him and tore off his shirt as cops rushed Irish into an ambulance. Irish has not been charged with a homicide, but has been hit with other charges, including concealment of a human corpse, criminal possession of a weapon, and menacing. She meant everything to me. It was my baby. She was an angel. She was a light. And, she's, and that light is going to always shine. Yasmeen Williams' body was found Friday, stuffed into a sleeping bag, and then thrown on top of a pile of garbage bags and left out on the curb of East 27th Street. According to the medical examiner, she died from a gun. Y'all heard, heard all the viciousness and evilness and deceitfulness this man did to her, to Yasmin? Boy, thank God for that mob. Someone should have just, someone should have just offed him in the crowd and get, get it over with quick and swiftly. Yeah, this man, whoo, this man, this man is barbaric. That was a barbaric action he just used. Yes. Dave the Barbarian style. Damn. Rest in peace to Yasmin because she ain't deserve a death like this. And I don't even know how she got caught up with this man or how this man got caught up with her. But all I know, death penalty to this man, please. Gunshot wound to her head. And she's going to get justice. So Chad, I... 
Which was expected or supposed to be moved from the 13th precinct at some point today. Police then came out and told us that's been put on pause. It has been on pause now for a few hours. Maybe possibly some break in this case. They are expected to update us at some point tonight. We are live at the 13th precinct station house. In that's New York for you. New York got all the dinosaurs roaming around, ready to drop a body and hide the corpse in their goddamn apartment. This is about the fourth time. Fourth time I'd uncover the news like this. Yeah, it's getting vicious and crazy out here. Y'all got to stay prayed up and blessed up. But this next episode we about to get into. We about to get into Church's Chicken. Yeah, we already know Church's Chicken is in every hood in America. But this Church's Chicken is different. Yeah, because the shooter was in playing this day. We're going to get into it. Parker is dead after police say she got into an argument with another woman in the drive-thru. Now, what you're looking at right now, these are photos police released of the suspect in the Orange Mount incident before she... Hey, let me tell you something about these girls that be shooting and game banging and scamming. Let me tell you something, because there's a similarity between all of them. When you see a girl with a purple mohawk arguing with you, you got to learn to walk away. You got to learn how to walk away. Because the constant... Hey, she going to bite you in your ass. Now let's get back to it and watch, watch, watch how this ends. She sped away. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. Hi, I'm Shay Arthur in for April. As WREG's Dorita Patterson tells us, investigators are now trying to put a name with that face we just saw there to track down the woman wanted for pulling the trigger. At the start of a new day, police are still looking for new clues following a deadly attack. Monday night, detectives were called to this church's chicken along Park Avenue in the heart of Orange Mound. In fact, Gregory Houston holds this community close to his heart as it's where he grew up. We should have a house out here. It was after he tuned in to WREG. I heard about her on the... Hold up. Where they found Bill Cosby at? I thought Bill Cosby retired. Where the heck did they find Bill Cosby at? And why is Bill Cosby on the news? Lord have mercy. News. Uh, last night, and it was very sad. Knowing this area was now at the center of a homicide investigation. To see and hear that a young lady got killed on her job, trying to make a living for herself. Police say a female worker here got into an argument with another woman in the drive through lane. Detectives say the employee walked outside to, quote, get some air. Without warning, shots were fired. Sadly, the female worker did not survive. What remains unclear is what prompted the deadly attack, but a stunning new development as this was caught on surveillance camera. Police now able to get a glimpse of the person they're now looking for. The woman police are now looking for at the time of the attack had purple hair and was driving a vehicle with what appears to be a child's car seat in the back. A deadly fight that has those like Mr. Houston in a fight against gun violence. It will be continued to be, you know, I, I guess, in the lost and found. <laughs> this Army vet never thought his childhood community would resemble that of a combat zone. For your news leader in Orange Mound. My heart was set. Bill Cosby don't know he living in the 21st century. He living in a whole new world, a whole new generation. And these generations just don't care anymore. They'll drop you, your dad, your mom, your auntie, your sister, your brother. They'll, they'll sweep y'all sweep y'all all up. They just don't care. They don't got nothing to lose. They ain't work hard for nothing their whole life. All they been doing is taking, taking, taking. Yeah. But I'm going to conclude this shortly right now. This is crazy. And it's getting monstrous out here in this reality. In this world. Boys and gals, we just got to stay safe, stay prayed up, and stay on our knees. I thank y'all for watching me. Thank y'all for tuning in with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'm going to see you on the next episode. Deuces.